Hey folks, welcome back to Just Piddling Barbecue. You're actually sitting on top of the hopper of my uh, pellet grill right now. Uh, I've got another cook going on. I'm doing that pot roast video. It'll probably be uploaded before this video I'm going to do now. But I figured I'd make two videos today. Um, for New Year's, we're going to have some people over and I thought it'd be good to have some uh, smoked cheese to just kind of snack on while everybody's kind of hanging out. And uh, so I got four blocks of cheese that I'm gonna cold smoke today. It's probably, I don't know, 40, 50 degrees, I guess, out here. Rainy, nasty, uh, but a good day to cold smoke something. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take you through the process and show you how I'm gonna do it. I've got some pepper jack cheese, some Colby Jack cheese on one tray, and then on the other one, I've got some mozzarella cheese and I've got some Swiss cheese. And I'm gonna be smoking all those today I'm going to be using some uh, pecan pellets or pecan pellets, if that makes you feel better. Um, and I'm using the amazing maize, smoked maize. Uh, there's my pecan pellets in there. I've only got one full, I've got two full rows, but the last time I smoked for about three hours, I think, and it only used maybe one row, but I've got two rows on there. The key to it, if you can see that, is just to make sure that the pellets aren't crossing over touching each other so it doesn't jump that little divider right there so that's the biggest thing uh, but i'm fixing to fire up the torch and i'm going to light it on that end right there if you can see that i'm going to light it right there um, let it burn for about five or ten minutes blow it out and then it'll start smoking and then i'll show you the rest of my setup All right, folks, let me show you what I got here. All right, there's my, uh, there's my amazing maize little pellet smoker, cold smoker there. And it's still got a little flame on the end. You can see it. I haven't blown it out yet. But I want to show you the rest of my setup. Now, this, I'm using my uh, Charbroil Kettleman kettle grill here. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave this on the bottom rack, and I'm going to put a top rack on top of it. I'll show you that in a minute. And then when I close the lid, everything is getting air from these holes down here in the bottom. Okay, so there's airflow underneath the right there at the pellet level, giving it some air. I'm probably gonna leave the top closed, but let me show you what I've got around the bottom, around the back. Around the back of my kettleman, there's a small gap right here where smoke can, and air can come out. So it's flowing from the bottom over the top of the cheese and coming out the back, okay? So I'm gonna put the cheese on top. And here's my cheese. On one rack, I've got the Colby Jack and Pepper Jack. And then I've got the Swiss and the mozzarella, okay? So that's gonna be my cold smoke. All right, so now I'm simply gonna move this to the front. I'm gonna blow it out, and it's gonna stay lit. Move that to the front, there's my smoke. I'm gonna put my grill grate back on, and now I'm gonna put my cheese on. And probably about halfway through, I'll rotate it.
just like that the smoke's going to come over and exit out the back and there we go All right, folks, it's been about four hours for the cold smoked cheese. I'm about to take it off. If you can see, I mean, it's still smoking right along. I have not added any uh, pellets to it at all. It's probably about 45 degrees out here. I think it's about what it's gonna be New Year's Eve. We're going to have a little low country boil and oyster roast and all that stuff out here New Year's Eve. So I'm going to uh, wrap this cheese up and save it for then. And uh, I may do a video of the low country boil and the oyster roast and the cheese and all that. And just kind of show you all that, I guess. It'd be kind of weird filming in front of all these people, but I may do it anyway. But uh, I'm fixing to take this cheese off and wrap it. Let me show you what it looks like now. There you go. Looks to me like the Swiss is taking on the most color. Um, and I have noticed that the time that I did the cold smoke before, um, it was about 80 degrees. Today's about 45 degrees. And it seems like the higher the temperature is outside, the easier it is for the cheese to take smoke. Well, we're gonna see how this did. I think it's gonna be good. Anyway, for the cold smoke video, till next time, I'll be pipping.